Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and this is season 3, episode 3 of An Englishman Abroad where we are out in Thailand managing Buriram United. So in the last video we managed to have 3 cup wins in 3 different competitions which was fantastic. We've pushed forwards now and we are going to pick up with Daegu in the Champions League Chain at Hornbill in the Thai League and Sing Buri in the FA Cup fourth round. So before we push on, if you're enjoying the series and you want to stay up to date with everything that's going on, please consider hitting the subscribe button. You hit the thumbs up button to let us know that we're doing a good job and we're producing the content you want to see. And if you've got any comments, whether it be about the series or the players or the tactics or anything, leave them in the comments box below. I love engaging with as many of you as I can and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. So with the intro done and out of the way, let's have a look what's happened since you've been away. So the last game that we played was Wantong United. We've had quite a decent run since then. Mainly victories. We had 5 in the league win. We won 2-0 away in Australia in the Champions League. We then continued our great form in the Thai League. The 2-0 win, one in the FA Cup, one in the Thai League. We then had a 0-0 draw against Guangzhou at home where we had to grind out a result really. We didn't play very well. And then we had another Thai League victory against Uthai Thani, 2-0. Then one in the League Cup third round before beating BG Patham United, 4-0 in the Thai League. That brings us up to today's episode where we are going to start off with Daegu. We have already qualified from Champions League Group F with 13 points. So today's episode is going to wrap that up. So let's get f straight on into the first game. Okay, so let's have a little look at the lineup that is going to take on Daegu in this Asian Champions League game with the Group Already won, there's not a lot to play for, so we are going to start with Melee in goal, Akon Sri at left back, Henvi Boon, Lima, and Thamarasapon at right back, Sukjit Thamakul, and Pwangjan in the middle, with Dehain, Sarachat, and Suksum across the midfield attacking three. And we're going to start off with JD up front to round this Champions League group out. Okay, so the first action of the game is a throw in. Ball comes across and Dehane headers at the back post. Can't keep it down. It goes over the bar. Other than that, it's an uneventful first five, six minutes. Daegu have now got a throw in. Play the ball back. It's going to be crossed into the box. It's not dealt with by the defenders, but Akonsri gets it. Plays it to Mella. He tries a pass, but plays it straight to the defence. Sucks on though, picks the ball up. He's played it through to Jaded. He's in on goal. Goalkeeper guessed pretty much where he was going early. Got down to his left to save it and turn it around for a corner. From the corner, it's going to be swung in. It's headed clear. Pwang Jan will pick it up in the middle of the park. Turns back towards goal. He's headed down the left. Tries to beat his man. Gets tackled though. And the highlight ends there. So we've performed pretty well in this Champions League group. Um, this is the one that we do want. The Champions League has been the highest thing on the agenda. We have already won the league twice. We have already won League Cups. The last two things that we want to go and win are the Champions League and the FA Cup. In the background, just had a pretty decent shot that was turned over the bar. Got a corner that's played in that gets headed away. Quang Jan's going to get the ball. Turns back for some reason. Plays it to Thamit Raspon. And then the highlight just peters out. But yeah, definitely. Champions League, FA Cup. The two things left to win that we want to push on and win. Uh, fingers crossed that when two of our young South Americans come into the team in July, we are going to have a really good run at this. Because I mean, checking on the form of Carlos, and he's been doing well in Brazil. He's finally broken into the first team and has started scoring goals. And speaking of scoring goals, JD there should have made it 1-0. He's had the two best chances of the game and the goalkeeper thwarted him and the defence have thwarted him. So nothing to change really at half time. We're on top of the game. It is a bit of a dead rubber because we are qualified. They have nothing to play for either Daegu. Don't think they can qualify actually. So... 
We're attacking down the right. The ball comes in, gets headed away. Swung back in, but it's cleared. Lima venturing forward. It's a bit too far forward for my liking, but manages to get the pass away successful. And he's still trying to be part of the attack. Swings the ball into Dehane. Can't really do much with it. And then it's cleared away where Lima will pick it back up in a position on the pitch that I'm far more used to him being in. <laughs> Dehane now gets the ball. Beats one man. Lays it off. Akon Sree's got it. He's running at his man. Crossing. And there's a header from Natawat Suksum to make it 1-0. And it's just what we've deserved, really. Been the better team. Created the better chances. And now finally, after 50 minutes, we have taken the lead. It's a nice header at the back post. He's a player who has flattered to deceive a little bit. Suksum. He came highly recommended by our scouts. Pinched him from one of our rivals. And... So far, the biggest contribution he had was a red card in an FA Cup game. So, to see him scoring goals in the Champions League is what we were kind of hoping for when we signed him. And then he almost turned provider there. Dehane nearly got on one at the back post. Goalkeeper turns it away. But in terms of the game, we are the dominant team. 67%, 68% possession. We're obviously on top, everywhere on the pitch. Going to make a change. Let's bring on Pumku on the right. Let's bring on Faisal's eye head for Sarachat, just to keep him fresh. Speaking of Sarachat, there he is on the ball, trying to get a cross in. Couldn't beat the first man. Lays it back to Akun Sri. He crosses in and Jai did. Scores his eighth goal of the season. He has been a brilliant forward for this season. We were undecided where he would be playing. Tried to sign a few other strikers. In fact, did that go in off the defender? Actually looked like it went in off the defender. But <laughs> he's run off claiming it, doing a chicken dance. And that's absolutely fine. Corner comes in. It's headed out to the edge of the box. Going to try and cross it back. In fact, he had a shot and Joy did is there to pick up his ninth goal of the season. Second of the game with a tap in. He's doing his dance again. Might have to have a word about that dance. But cross. In fact, it wasn't a cross. It was a shot. So, yeah, Sukji Demical has gone with the intention of beating the goalkeeper. And all he's done is ended up providing an assist. And Joe did said, thank you very much. I will take the two easy goals there. So we're going to make our final change here. We're going to bring on Selenon. He can play in midfield. Actually, no, we're not going to bring him on because we've already made three substitutions, have we? Ah, of course we did because we had to make one early on. Silly me. So, going to round out the Champions League group stage with a 3-0 win. Going to end the group stage on 16 points. We will push forward to the next game, which is going to be chain at Hornbill in the league. And hopefully, in the in-between, we'll see who we are drawn against in the knockout phases of the Champions League. After the game, the Champions League draw was made and we were drawn against Sakai FC. And this is where my limited knowledge of Asian football kicks in. I don't know where they are from. So let's have a little click on them. It seems they are a Japanese club. So a trip to Japan for us in the Champions League. And also off the back of that, we have been drawn in the semi-final draw where we can face either Ulsan Hyundai, Pohang Steelers, our favourites Guangzhou and Global Football Club, who, again, I don't know anything about. Global Football Club are a team from the Philippines. So, 
interesting that they've done both draws at the same time, but at least we know our destiny. We can run into Guangzhou again, who we have already beaten in the group stages. So fingers crossed that looks like a decent path to the final if we can get there because there's no big Chinese club that we haven't already faced. So we are at the next game. This is against Chain at Hornbill. This is the team that we are going to put out to win us three points in the league. We've got Melee in goal, Akon Street at left back, Pong Putter, Lima, and Selenon's going to go in at right back. Puang Jan is going to play against Suk Jitamakal. Still can't pronounce that name. Might have to call him by his first name. <laughs> Suksum on the left, Sarachat in the middle. Moanta on the right, and Jided will play up front. Okay, so the game is off and running. It's been an uneventful first 10 minutes of the game. We are having most of the possession, most of the shots, and chain up Hornbill have the first highlight. However, the ball is stolen from them. Jaded picks it up. He's now turning. He's going to run at the defence. Cuts it back. Moanta's there. It's a cross come shot that can't get turned in by Suxum. And the score stays at 0 0. But we have a throw in that Sarachat is going to bring into the middle. Is he looking for a pass or is he looking to shoot? Look for a pass. Selenon kind of didn't follow the run that he was supposed to. Which meant the pass goes straight through to the goalkeeper. And the play broke down, but we're straight back on the attack. Akon 3. Loses the ball and then kind of wins it back. He toe pokes it past his man. Tries to find Moanta at the back post, who gets beaten to the header. Selenon picks it up. He's running at the defender now. Kind of comes to a standstill. Cross comes across anyway. Sucks him. Can't turn it in. Quang Jan picks it up. Plays it all the way back to Lima with a pass that I'm not sure why you would do that. But Selenon's breaking into the box. Cross is deflected. It rolls into the path of Sarachat. It's it straight at the goalkeeper. So a massive couple of chances there and a bit of pinball in the box, which is a bit crazy. A bit more clinical than that normally, especially with Moanta, Sarachat and Jaidi having as many chances as they did, but still couldn't break the deadlock. However, now we're back on the attack. Selenon plays it straight to the defender, who then heads it back. And Chain at Hornbill are going to look to build slowly in the middle however Moanta's quickest to the ball intercepts runs into the box has a right foot shot that he drags wide would have been a great goal had it have gone in but instead it's off target so definitely on top in this game Akon 3 Sarachat cuts inside Akon 3 loses the ball though and Chan at Hornbill were playing it about, give it away to Jodid, who inside the box from there, again, you'd have been thinking he would have at least hit the target, to put it wide at the right hand post. And we are struggling with shots or meaningful shots in the game, it seems. But still, we have another chance. Sarachat plays it back to Puang Jan, looks to beat his man, loses the ball. And now Chan at Hornbill are on a counter-attack. Rafael Coelho's looking to beat Prang Jan, but he stands up tall, takes the ball, sucks him, gets played through to Akon 3. He's only got JD ahead of him, so he's deciding to try and take them all on himself. Cuts it back to sucks him. Savachat's there from outside the box, right-footed into the top corner. Says at the bottom it was sheer brilliance. He certainly looked it, didn't it? As soon as it left his foot, you knew it was in the net. Akon 3 does well, looks up, sees Suxum running into the box. He knows that Sarah Chat's lurking outside the box and right footed puts it in the top corner of the net to give us a lead just before half time. And that hopefully will now be the building block for us to score a few more goals because we've been a bit wasteful in that first half. But the second half, we are looking to defend. We take the ball off of Rafael Coelho. Comes to Sarachat in the middle of the field. He looks to play Jaded in. And again, Jaded hits a shot that's been saved by the goalkeeper. And then the flag goes up anyway. So it wouldn't have counted had it have gone in. 
now got the ball moving forwards. Selenon takes on his man wide right. Looks to cross it in but can't beat his man. Wanta plays about to Prangjan. Comes to Savichat who plays it to Selenon. Cross with Suxon. He taps it in. But I've got a feeling that there's a flag up on the far side. The referees talking to the VAR people. And VAR disallows the goal due to offside. Oh, Selenon was actually offside in the build-up. So it wasn't the finish. It wasn't Suxon. It was actually Selenon. So a bit disappointing. But still, Akon 3, the ball, has played it infield, gets it back, crosses, comes to nothing, and then Rafael Coelho is now going to try a counter attack. He's looking to square up against Pong Potter, who has already been booked. I'm going to have to take him off, I think, because that wasn't a very good effort at a tackle, although that was a much better tackle. He does steal the ball, plays it to Jaded. Jaded's going to take his man on, tries the shot from distance, and let's make that substitute before we are playing with 10 men. So we are going to bring on Leo in place of Punk Putter. And also I think we might have to look at taking Quang Jan off as well. However, we almost concede from a free kick there. Big ball over the top. And it comes straight through. The, the guy was one-on-one -on -one with Mele. Couldn't beat him. And then we turn it straight into a counter-attack. Where Jaded's run forwards. It's been brought down. Uh, referees decided it was a booking and a free kick. And that was a pretty pointless highlight. But Akon 3 to Saxon. Sucks him back to Sarachat. Want has tried with a header. It bounces back nicely to him. And there he is to tuck it away for his fourth goal of the season. So, Want is still insistent that he wants to leave for a bigger club. Uh, assistant manager, Paul Putt, told him, hey, that's fancy footwork there from Sarachat, wasn't it? The little behind the standing foot cross. But Want is still insistent he wants to go and play for a big club. Uh, Paul Putt said in the press conference that he needs to decide what he wants to do and he should show more loyalty to the club. So he's been a bit in and out of the team. He's not been in great form. But as he's just shown, he's a class player and we do need him to be playing well, especially with this Champions League run that we are planning to be on. And just to round the game out, Paolo Lima's there with a big header at the back post. And in added on time, Make it 3-0. It's going to be three points. That's a great finish. Lima is always dangerous at the back post. However, one last bit of defending to do. And we don't do it. Simon Dia scores a consolation goal for Chana Hornbill. Melee is beaten. But it doesn't really matter. It's another three points in the bag. And we roll on in the league. And just like that, we are going to move on to the Singbury FA Cup fourth round tie where we will be able to rotate the team slightly so fingers crossed get a few games into a few reserve players and see if we can't roll on into the next round of the tournament that we still haven't won in this save with this game being an FA Cup game, we are going to look to take advantage of the rules slightly. We're going to rotate players and use some players that we can't use in the league due to the limit on foreign players. But we're going to go with this lineup anyway. We've got Mele in goal, Pong put at left back, Henry Boom, Lima and Thamarasapon at right back. We've got the young lad Salah in midfield with Jaded, Faisal Zayed. Dehane and Suxum are going to play in the attacking midfield three. And Roman Burrell is going to take his place up front as he does in most of our cup games. Okay, so with the game up and running, we have a corner kick that's come in. And Suxum's had a header that's glanced at the top of the bar and goes out for a goal kick. Now got a throw in. Pong Putter plays it to Dehane. He spins on the ball. Plays it all the way back to Thamaraspan, who plays it to Pong Porter. He's inside the box and it comes out to Surasak Salah. And he has hit that like a rocket into the top corner. It's his second goal of the season. And with finishing like that, he looks like he could be a 
bit of a star in the making here. He's only a young lad, doesn't play many games, but we bring him in for these cup games and the league cup games, and he's showing all the talents of being a top quality prospect. So a corner comes in, Fazal Zayed, got a player on the floor, don't really know what's happened, but the penalty looks like it's going to be awarded. We have a penalty awarded for something that happened at the back post. Didn't really see with the clip coming in. Suxum takes it, puts it away. Gives us a 2-0 lead just before the 10-minute mark. It's his third goal of the season. And maybe some of that scouting report is starting to come true. These are the games that he's put in to shine in. He's one of the players that hasn't been rotated for this game in the attacking third of the pitch and he scores the penalty to reward us for it so we are looking to just breeze through this game I'll be honest not sure what division Singh Bury are in I think they are a second division team so we should be beating them but as I keep saying it's a good chance for us to give some of the youngsters a run out and poor Roman Burrell you can't get into our league squad because of the foreign players limit rules gets a chance in these games and even if we have to move him on due to the South Americans coming in at least we can say that he was a success for the club in the cup competitions which is probably not good for him personally but oh well it's all we can do but here he is he's picked the ball up he has a shot from distance and there he goes he shows me exactly why maybe I should think about trying to get him into this league squad registration window however I can but with the uh, foreign player limits it's just impossible but there is the skill for everyone to see it's an outstanding finish from distance to make it 3-0 and we're not done yet We've got a free kick that swung in Salah is going to retreat to pick the ball up he turns jaded with the crossfield pass to Zayed Squares it to Suxum, tucks it away, right footed, second goal of the game, fourth of the season. We are now in control after 35 minutes, are leading 4 0. As I said, this is a competition that we haven't won yet, and it's one that is on the list to tick off, to do. So, why not this season? Let's get the two big ones wrapped up. To have the league, the FA Cup, and add to that the Champions League as well. That would just be brilliant as a way to wrap up the third season. So 4 0 at half time, and start the second half without any changes. The only changes I think I might make, I might bring Jaded off at some point in the second half to give him a slight rest before the Champions League games that are coming up very soon. And we almost get caught out with a very clever free kick there. Singbury has sent the ball down the line. And the guy's got to the ball first, but he's put it in the side netting, luckily for us. And now jody has got himself a yellow card. We are going to go in and get him out of there. We're going to put our fours in. He's a bit of a forgotten man after he did so well for us last season. Going to bring him in to have 20 minutes of the game. Got a throw in here, Thamaras upon, and Roman Burrow has got another goal. Doubles his tally in this game, third goal of the season. And it does seem that this kid has goals in him. It's a brilliant cross, deft little header. Not sure what the goalkeeper's doing there, it's probably a fault for coming towards the ball too soon, but oh well. <laughs> Uh, 5-0 Our forzan has got a free kick Suxum's got the header He should have had a hat-trick there I'd have thought a player of his ability Would be scoring from there And with two minutes added on Got one last free kick that comes in Henry Boom has Got his first goal of the season And he's headed it in at the back post To make it six And we are firmly in the next round of the FA Cup And that is a brilliant performance all around from a rotated team. So, 
nice 6-0 win there to round out this episode. What we're going to do now is push on forward. We've got the Champions League games coming up. We are going to come back probably for the second leg of the Sakai game. As that will be the deciding game. And then we'll probably have a league game. And I think there's an FA Cup game to follow that too. So again, if you've enjoyed the episode and you want to stay up to date with the series, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you've enjoyed today's video and that's 6 still win, hit the thumbs up button. If you've got any comments about players, maybe tell me I should find a spot for Roman Burrow, the way that he plays. Leave them in the comments box below. Like interacting with as many of you as I can. And until the next episode, stay safe and I will see you soon.